And now let's head over to Nicole Christine. She's got your weekly state house wrap, taking a look at three bills lawmakers are workshopping in Indianapolis. Well, another week has passed at the Indiana State House with plenty of bills still being debated on by lawmakers. A House bill making its way through the Senate would make some changes to workers' compensation. The bill would increase benefits for injuries and disablements by 3% each year for four years starting this July. It would also update the definition of medical service facility to include an ambulatory outpatient surgical center. The Terre Haute Chamber of Commerce says this bill is supported by the Indiana Manufacturing Association. Another bill still alive in Indianapolis would allow for an expansion of the health care workforce. The bill would set requirements for the temporary licensure of retired or inactive emergency medical personnel. The State Board of Nursing would issue graduates of a foreign nursing school a license to practice as a registered nurse or practical nurse, a health care provider or employee of a health care provider who receives temporary licenses would qualify for coverage under the Medical Malpractice Act. And in in case you missed it, that controversial school curriculum bill has passed through a committee. The bill includes several amendments added over the past couple weeks. Even after those amendments, the bill includes a section preventing educators from teaching certain topics surrounding race, religion, or sex. Some local figures, including Candles Holocaust Museum, Executive Director Troy Fears has spoken against the bill at the State House. It now heads to the Senate for a third reading. And that's a look at this week's State House Wrap. Thank you very much, Nicole. And a reminder, this legislation session will end, will be ending, excuse me, in March.